Hello dear listeners, uh, today we are going to uh, find the probability of the word offer after the words denied the. So it's actually a trigram model where we are going to predict the third word depending upon the previous two words. So uh, here is a training set, uh, you can say a very small corpus that we will use to train our system our trigram model and after training we will find the probability of this word offer after these two words denied the <coughs> sorry so if we use the simple trigram model the formula is we uh, find the count of this triplet denied the offer in our training set and then divide this count by the count of this pair denied the. So actually we are predicting the third word on the basis of these two words. So by this formula, uh, sorry, I delete this. We get this answer because the count of these three words in this training is zero. We do not find the triplet denied the offer in this training set. So I write zero here and the count of the phrase denied the is one, two, three, four. So I write four here and zero divided by four equals zero. So in this case, we uh, got the answer zero and you know, uh, it doesn't seem appropriate because denied the offer seems quite uh, correct sentence according to this training set. Huh? But because this word does not exist in this training, so our simple or unsmooth uh, trigram model is giving the answer zero. So to handle such situation, we want to uh, make it non-zero and uh, for that purpose, we use the algorithm of Laplace smoothing or add one smoothing. In this algorithm, uh, we add one in the numerator always. So if there is zero, it will become non-zero. And <coughs> we add vocabulary in the denominator here. And vocabulary here means the distinct words. So the distinct words in this training set are one, two, three, four, five, six. So we added one in the zero, it became one, and we added six in the denominator, so it became 10. So the answer is one over 10 or 0 0.1. So this is uh, the non-zero uh, uh, probability. Uh, and so we have probability of uh, 0 0.1 for the word offer after these two words. And as I discussed earlier in earlier videos, you know, uh, in Laplace smoothing or Adam smoothing, we are actually doing that we are taxing some amount from those words or pair of words which do occur in the training set and then distribute though that amount into those words which do not appear in the training set. Or in other words, you can say we tax the money from the rich and distribute that money in the poor. So say in the training, we have these four words. Allegations appeared three times, reports appeared two times, claims appeared one time, request one time. So all of these words appeared seven times in total. So these, you can say these are rich people. So we will tax some amount from them and we will distribute them into those words where you did not appear in the training set. So we text 0.5 from each of them. 0.5 here, 0.5 here, here, here. So we saved actually two rupees or two dollars you can say. And then we distribute these two into these words which did not appear. So in short, we tax some amount from every word that appeared in the uh, 
training set or the given corpus and we distribute that amount in all the words that were not appeared in the training set. So this is actually the logic or rational behind this smoothing.